What is up YouTube, back with another video. Had a couple pickups coming from eBay finally. Uh, one new comic book day and a couple pickups from OfferUp. I think there's only one from OfferUp, but um, excuse my voice if it goes in and out of range. I am walking around a computer to grab some of the comics, but um, let's just hop right into it. Um, first up, I'm gonna show what came in from eBay. Um, on the left, I did get alias number one in that pickup I think a week or two ago. So for 99 cents, I got number five, number six, number seven, number 11, number 12, 13, 14. So got, what was that? Six issues, seven issues. Um, not bad, especially for only 99 cents. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to finish that run since I already do have number one. I think there's only one semi-expensive one, the first appearance of Kilgrave, but I don't think it'll be that hard to track down. Um, then I got in Detective, or not Detective, Batman 426 and 427, Death in the Family. Um, got both of those. I was a little disappointed because the pictures didn't really show the spine damage, but these are just reader copies for me. Um, one step closer to finishing my Batman run. I only need two more issues, so i um, really excited about that. So got those two in a lot. Um, happy about that. Picked up another issue of Batman 423. Just a really nice McFarlane cover, so can't go wrong with that. Batman 570, uh, I think this is the first appearance of Harley in canon, or the second appearance of her overall. Um, really nice cover, I needed that for the run. Um, just picked this up because it was an Adam Hughes cover, I got these two. I didn't want to spend the shipping alone for one comic, so I did pick up Spawn number 11 just for the heck of it. Um, another nice McFarlane cover. On the right, there's probably about 20, 30 books I'm not showing, but um, I got this in a lot for like $8, so minus the 20 books, here's just a little look at what I got, Batman 475, the first appearance of Renee Montoya. Um, the Killing Joke, didn't have this one, I think this is the sixth print, um, not 100% sure, but I think this is the sixth print, I didn't have that one. And then just some Detective Comics, Shadow of the Bat. They're all pretty much Batman related, but for, you know, five, eight bucks, I think is what I paid to get this plus 25 other books um, that I probably don't have. Wasn't a bad deal. So especially that um, Killing Joke. I'm really excited about that because now I have two issues. Um, what to show next? What to show next? So did pick up. Uh, did get my wedding invitation, so um, there's that. Let me show these two as well, just so there's something up there at the same time. So I did get the wedding invitation. I'll probably keep that cool little thing, and then it has a checklist on the back for the books. But um, I didn't go to the comic book store until, what was that, Saturday? And, um, yeah, Saturday. So I was like, what, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, days behind. Um, they still had this. I saw it was going for like 10 bucks on eBay, so figured I'd pick it up, maybe try to sell it. Not 100% sure. Um, just a nice Campbell cover, and it is a wedding special. Um, I am getting married soon, so I just liked it. Why not? This cover uh, by Tony Daniel. Loved it. And then this cover as well. I think that's by Amanda Connor. Um, when I saw that, I actually had it as my phone wallpaper for a little bit, but absolutely love it so i picked it up I, I stopped picking up both covers for a while but i did pick up both of those um these two comics i picked up off a local i guess dealer i don't know i know he sells a lot but um i don't know if i should call him a dealer but astonishing x-men number one by eddie granoff and astonishing x-men number one uh by mark brooks very nice condition um yeah, after uh, looking at the Brooks cover, I Googled him, and I think I'm in trouble because he has so many nice covers, but um, I got these two for a steal, um, but I'll probably hang on to them. That's why they're in the top loaders, just because um, the condition was so nice. Now, the next set of books. I don't know. How should I do this? I picked these up today. I did... Um, 
I spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but I think for what I got, I will be okay. Um, I'm gonna take that off. And let me show this one. So I actually got more books than I thought I was gonna get because in the offer up listing, there was only like eight books listed. So let's just go through it. It's all Saga. I got a Saga number two, number three, and all these are in really good condition. Uh, number four, number five, number six, number seven, a uh, very easy transaction as well. Number eight, I did have to drive a little bit, not too far, about 20 minutes. Uh, I don't see a number nine, but there is 10. I do need to read bag and board a lot of these. 11. I did read the first trade paperback of Saga and I, I loved it, but then I ended up selling it trying to get the hardcovers, so. And number 13. Then I got 20, 21, 22, 23, 35, 36, 37, that's a nice cover, and 38. So um, the big thing I wanted, it, it said only like one through eight in the listing, so I'm actually really surprised. This is my first time going through all the issues with you guys, so really excited about that. I really like that cover on 38, but um, the thing I was most excited about, I will say I'm a little disappointed, but um it did come with saga number one so I got it um, I know it's a very popular book right now but um, there was a little more spine damage than discussed when I got it when I saw it in person but um, I think for the price I paid I, I can't really complain because even in a, like a 9294 um, I paid a lot less for this whole lot so I'm, I'm probably gonna send it off to get pressed um, I don't know if all of them will show but there's a couple like creases um, but I am gonna send it I've never got a book press so this will be a first for me um, if you guys have any recommendations I think rocket comics is local um, to Southern California I think they are so I might go with them but um and then I'll also do my first I think grading because I think this does a lot more for me graded than ungraded but um yeah, that was my big pickup for the week, so um, I'm super excited about it, um, and then it'll lead me into pressing and grading, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah, those are my pickups. I'm two issues away from completing my Batman run, and then I have no idea what to do next. I have the alias, now I have Saga to complete, um, but I think I might go for something a little simpler something more recent but um i'm not 100 percent sure but if you guys have any recommendations on pressing and cleaning and grading um i haven't done that at all so um any information or tips and tricks will definitely be of value but uh let me know what you guys think let me know what your favorite pickup was uh this week mine would definitely have to be saga number one but uh don't forget to rate comment subscribe and always always have a great day